uh, free live pronunciation class on the Connect English San Diego page. This is the first week that the class has moved to the Pacific Beach campus. It has been at the La Jolla campus for the past eight weeks. So now here we are at the Pacific Beach campus and I'm happy to see all of these smiling faces in here from so many different countries. So uh, let's start off the class by saying hi world, okay? You guys wanna say it? And we're gonna count to three, we're gonna say hi world. You guys ready? Okay. All right, one, two, three. Hi world! Big group today, right? You can't see it from around the world, but we have a lot of people in class today. I'm really excited. We're gonna take a moment to introduce everybody. I'm gonna introduce myself. Then we're going to start the class after that. We're going to start learning. So we have, let's see, we have Goshim from Taiwan, yeah. Augusto from Brazil, Mahmoud from Turkey. We have uh, Emma from Japan. We have Xi from Taiwan, right? No, China. From China. Got it. Okay. Got to be careful about that one. Mehmed from <laughs> Turkey. Gozde from Turkey. Alan from Taiwan. Yes. Okay. And then uh, Yildiz from Turkey. Okay. Taigun from Turkey. We have, uh, we have... Uh, uh, Mindy from um, from Taiwan. We have Katerine from Nicaragua, right? Yes. Excellent. Leandro from Brazil. Guilherme from Brazil, who has come to Mission Valley to do the yes. class with me before. Mm, really we have Ariadna from uh, from Brazil. Lorraine from uh, France, and Paula from Brazil. And then I am Nick from California. So uh, if you're watching from around the world, if you're watching from uh, Montreal, Canada. Type it in. Say hello from Canada, okay? If you're watching from, uh, you know, Tokyo, Japan, okay, right? Hello from Tokyo. If you're watching from Kurdistan, if you're watching from Siberia, if you're watching from the Pacific Northwest, if you're watching from Northern Africa, type it in. Say hello from any country that you're watching from. We want to know where you're watching from, any region, any city, okay? So, uh, let's get started today, you guys. Before we start the class, I have two rules. Two important rules in my class. Anybody know what my two rules are? Yelena, you know, help me out. What's one of the two rules? Don't cross your arms. Don't cross your arms. Uncross them. So, Paula, okay. Ariadna, get ready, okay. Why? Why is it important to uncross your arms? To breathe, okay, but to feel the differences. Feel the pronunciation. We're going to be using our hands a lot today for this pronunciation class. So, it's important for you guys to have your hands free and to be ready to oh, uh, uh, feel the pronunciation, okay? Because many students depend on their ears for pronunciation, and that only works a little bit. Your native language, Turkish, Japanese, Portuguese, your native language is going to affect how you hear yourself. So that's always gonna say, I sound so good. You're gonna think you sound really good, but we have to work on the little differences. And to hear those little differences, first you have to feel those little differences, okay? So uncross those arms so you can feel those differences today, okay? The next thing is uh, remember that it's okay to make mistakes in my class. Don't worry about sounding stupid, okay? Some students say, I don't, I'm going to sound stupid. Don't worry, it's okay. Yes, you will sound stupid. It's okay to do that, though. You're going to make mistakes. I've chosen some very difficult words today because I want you to make mistakes. I want you to feel what the mistakes are and feel what the corrections are and the ways to get it right, the ways to improve, okay? So mistakes are okay. You're in a safe place today. So welcome to the pronunciation class at Connect English. You guys ready to get started? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So why did I choose these words here, you guys? Why these ones? They're almost the same pronunciation. Thank you, Tagon. That's perfect. And the most really important there is to say they're almost the same, okay? Some students would say they are the same pronunciation, and that's okay if you think that, but we're here to work on the little differences that make a big difference in what they mean, okay? If you don't think there's a difference in the sound, that's because your ears don't hear the difference yet. But if you work on how it feels to say them the right way, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, I can feel a difference. Now I'm doing it right. Let's get started. <coughs> Okay, what does this mean right here, this word? What is this? No hair. No hair, right? Who are some famous bald people? Can you think of any famous people with no hair? Famous bald, bald people? Blackstone. What's that? Vin Diesel. Who? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, okay. And then Mindy said? Rockstone? 
The Rock. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Okay, The Rock. Okay, yeah, he he is bald, right? Uh, also, Michael Jordan, right, is bald. Has no hair. Okay, that's bald. What does this mean? Bold. With courage. There you go. Oh, yeah, no, very good. Bold, most people know it from Microsoft Word, right? When you click the B, it makes your words darker, okay? But that's uh, another version of stronger, okay? Stronger, more powerful than normal, okay? So if something has a bold flavor, like for example, In-N-Out Burger has a bold flavor, okay? It's strong, it's powerful. What's up? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh oh. Pages manager has. Uh, okay. I think everything's okay. All right. I think everything's all right. Everything looks good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook gods. I appreciate it. Thank you, Guillermo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this means stronger than normal. Okay. More powerful than normal. Okay. You could say that a person who speaks up a lot. Who says, no, we're not going to do that, is a bold person, okay? They have a strong way of speaking, okay? They have a strong uh, method. Bold letters are darker letters. You can see these are bold letters right here. It just means stronger than usual. But let's talk about the pronunciation. Everybody please put up one finger, please. Put up one finger. All right, Matt, Matt, you got your finger ready? Go this day, got it? Touch right here. This one is, oh, oh, I'm sorry, hold on a second. No, no, no. This one is touch right here. Oh, oh, okay. For this one, pull your nose down. Oh, oh, okay. I describe this to my students as the itchy nose. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine you're going to sneeze, right? And then you don't sneeze. And you go, oh. Oh, right? That's what we need to do for this sound here. This one is bold. You got it. Alan, you're doing it perfectly, man. Good job. You're really, I can see it. You're pulling your nose down. You're pulling your lip down also. Lip over your teeth. Oh. Oh. Goes there. Or no, not goes there. Uh, Yildiz, you're doing it perfectly right there. Okay? You're doing it perfectly. Thank you, Yildiz. Okay? Mahmoud, give it a try. Bold. Good. You guys, see, you guys see how well he's doing it? I can see that he's moving his mouth, okay? And that's important, okay? Maybe you don't hear the difference yet between these two words, but if you feel the difference, you're going to start pronouncing it better, okay? Katarina, give it a try. Bold. Uh-oh. I need to see your nose and your lip go down. Oh. A little bit more. More energy to your nose down. Oh. Oh. I like that. That sounds better. Very good. Leandro, your turn now. Bold. Oh. That's good. You guys see how his lip is down? It's over his teeth. Bold. Oh. oh. So think about the lip. Your lip is down. Your nose is down. Oh. 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 Bold. Okay. This next one. Okay. This one is with one finger also. But touch right here. This one is ah. 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 Yeah, the sound comes from the back of your throat, from the middle. Ah, I'm bald. Ah, ah. My mom called. She said, Dad's now bald. Okay? So, ah, ah, ah. Bald. Okay? Ah. A lot of people want to do an ah sound. Ah, bald. No, that's not it. This is ah, like officer. Stop. Clock. And operate. Ah, ah, ah. Ball. Okay. Yeah, when I was uh, in my 20s, I was afraid I was going to go bald. My hair kept going farther and farther up. I was like, oh, no, no, and then it stopped. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. I don't want to be bald, okay? I'm very happy to have all of my hair, okay? Bald, okay? Ah, ah, ah. Back to this one. Bull. Itchy nose. Oh, 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 okay. Very good. You guys sound great. Okay. This next one. What is this? This is what Captain America has, right? Is he has it on his arm. It's made of metal, usually to protect himself. This is a shield. Yeah, and this one is sheed. And she would like that. She would like some flowers. She'd. Uh -huh. She'd like to go to the party, but she can't. Okay? This is either she had, she would, okay? She'd, okay? She'd, she'd like that. That would be a good party idea for her. she That's one syllable, okay? I'm going to put the mark here of one syllable. She'd. Okay? She'd. 
Yeah. yeah. She. She. Single syllable right here. Okay. She. This one here is two syllables. She. Oh. She. She. Okay. Yeah. Slow it down. Do two syllables with it because many students try to do this as one syllable and they accidentally say this one instead. Okay. Oh, he had a sheet on his arm. Okay. No, he had a shield on his arm. Shield. Slow it down. Shield. 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 Okay. So do it as two syllables. You'll be more clear that way. Shield. shield. Yeah. She, give it a try for us. Shield. One more time. Shield. That's good. I hear the two syllables. That's very good. Goes day. Now it's your turn. Shield. Shield. Yeah. He had a shield on his arm. It protected him from the laser blast. Okay. Shield. Oh, you give it a try. Shield. Shield. Good. And now give me she. she. Yeah. Feel that there's two syllables there. Okay. Some people try to say this one too quickly and they accidentally say this one. Okay. Yeah. So we got to slow it down. Shield. Yeah. Feel those two sounds very, the two syllables separately. Shield. Okay. Many native speakers of English, they do it as one syllable, but that's because we've been practicing it for 37 years. Okay. Shield. And it's easy for me. But many native speakers also do it as two syllables. So do it that way. Okay? If you have two options, use the option that's easier for you and more clear for you. Shield. Okay? Shield. Paula, give it a try. Shield. Shield. And now she. Yeah. So think about one syllable or two syllables. Okay? All right. Ready for the next one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get into this one here. This one is on a bike. Okay. Pedal. When you want to ride your bike pedal. through the neighborhood, you're going to pedal. 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 Yeah. Pedal. This one is if you're in a kayak or a boat and pedal. you have to. Pedal. This pedal. one. Pedal. Okay. Pedal. All right. For this one, this one is ah ah ah. Take two fingers, please. Everyone, get two fingers up. Okay. Touch right here. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, Mindy, that's great. Nice job. I really hear it. Give me, give it a try. Paddle. Paddle. Yeah. Paddle. More open. Ah. Paddle. That's great. Nice job. All right, Lauren, give it a try. Paddle. Paddle. Good. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, not ah, ah, ah. We want ah, ah, ah. So from the back, but from the sides. Paddle. Like snack or back or after. Paddle. Ah, ah, ah. Paddle. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Emmy, give it a try. Paddle. Paddle. Yeah. Oh, not Emmy. Emma. I got to get it right. Emma. Paddle. Paddle. Ah, yeah. Paddle. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. This one, I want you to keep your teeth together when you say it. This one is pedal. Pedal. Yeah. So open your mouth. If you're opening your mouth, I need to paddle my bike. It's like, oh, my bike? You taking your bike in the river? I don't understand. Paddle? Oh, you need to pedal your bike. Okay. Pedal. Keep together. Okay. For pedal. Uh, uh, uh. That sounds really good. And I can see your teeth together. Pedal. Pedal. Leandro, give it a try. Pedal. Good. And now open up for paddle. Okay. Open more for this one. Ah. That sounds really good, Leandro. Good improvement. All right. All right, now give it a try. Give me pedal. Pedal. And now paddle. Paddle. Good. Do you guys hear the difference? If you don't hear the difference, that's okay, but she's doing it right. She's opening up for this one. Ah, ah, ah. Like after and back and clum. Snack, we already used as an example. This one is teeth together. Uh, uh, uh. Pedal. Pedal. Alan, you're doing it really well. Keep those teeth together for pedal. Pedal my bike. Paddle my boat. Okay. All right. Do you have a question about what they mean? No. Okay, cool. Feeling good? <laughs> All right. Let's do them as a class. One, two, three, pedal. Pedal. One, two, three, paddle. Paddle. Good. Nice job, you guys. Now, this is one of my favorites right here. Let's start with this one, okay? This is a unit of energy. This is a unit of energy, okay? Like three watts, four watts, that's ah, ah, ah. Everybody take that finger again. Put up that finger. Touch right here. Watt. 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 One watt, two watts, three watts. I believe this is pretty universal, right? In Turkey, you see electronic 
devices that use yeah. watts, yeah. right? Yeah. And in Brazil, you see electronic devices that use watts. So this is a pretty good one that everybody already knows. Ah, ah, ah. So touch right here, ah, oh, like oh, officer, oh, and sock, oh, and stop, oh, and oh, watch, okay, ah, 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 what, but this one is not what, what is this one, what, what? what? good, man, that sounds pretty what? good, what? <laughs> everybody take your fist, put your fist up, okay, put your hand up like this, put your, you ready, Okay. What? 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 Okay, this is not, if you don't put any pressure, you're saying what? What do you want? What do you want? I don't get it. Oh, you mean what do you want? Yeah, you need the pressure. The pressure is important. If you decide, eh, I don't care about the pressure, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying the wrong word. Okay, the pressure matters. In almost no other languages that are common in the USA from visitors, most other languages don't have the uh sound. Right? It doesn't exist. Right? So does it exist in Japanese? Uh. Does that sound exist? No, it doesn't exist in Japanese. <laughs> uh, Goze in Turkish. Does the uh exist? Uh. No. No, it's a new sound. So that's why it's very important. Many of us can't hear the sound. And if you can't hear it, that's okay, right? Because it doesn't exist in French. It doesn't exist in Portuguese. So instead of trying to hear it, focus on feeling it. Uh, uh. All right, Tiger, I'll give it a try. What? What? I want more pressure, dude. Put up that fist. Uh, what? What? That's better, okay? The pressure matters, all right? Mindy, give it a try. What? What? All right, I heard the pressure. The pressure matters. Matt, Matt, what? I think, for example, if I want to say what, I have to smile and the... This one is more ah, ah, wah, ah, ah, open more from right here. The sound is from up high, back of your throat with no pressure. This is like a oh, wah. Mm, this one is with pressure. Ugh. Yeah, what? Goze, you're doing it. I see Goze's head moving because she's putting the pressure. Okay? So you might. Right. Met, met. What? What? Met, met, what you're asking is about how it sounds to you because you're a native speaker of Turkish, right? And so you speak Turkish, so to your ears, it sounds like a, 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 a sounds that are similar to your own language. So it's good that you bring up that point. But it's important to stop going with the sound and start feeling it. What? 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 All right. What? Augusto, give it a try. What? What? Yeah. Did you guys hear the pressure? The pressure was really good. Lauren, you're laughing a lot. Give it a try. What? What? Yeah. More pressure is better. What? What? Paola, try it. What? what? Yeah. And now give me what? Yeah, right here, right here. Okay, the difference is important. Okay, let's go to Goshin. Give it a try. Give me what? What? Yeah, give me more pressure, please. What? Yeah. What do you want? What? Okay, but now give me what? Yeah. Ah ah ah. Okay. What? Yeah. What? What's wrong? Okay. All right. The next one. What is this? Yeah. What does that mean? My brother and sisters. Daughter. daughter. Yeah, your brother or sister's daughter. Thank you. You'll do this perfect explanation. My brother or sister's daughter. Okay, niece. What is this? Niece. Yeah, right here. Okay. So we have to talk about the, about the consonant sound out here. Everybody put your hand up, please. Put your thumb out like this. Touch right here. Give me niece. 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 And now give me knees. Knees. Like a me. Exactly, there's <laughs> vibration there. I'm especially interested in Katarine because she is a Spanish speaker, okay? This is a difficult difference for people who speak Spanish, okay? So this is important to feel the vibration. Z, 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 z. And no vibration, mega vibration. Katarine, you get the first try. Give me knees. Nice. Good, and now give me knees. Super good. First try. Perfect. I like it. Many Spanish speakers, they say niece, 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 niece. Like, no, 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 guys. Feel the vibration for this one. My knees. 
That's I mean, that sounds great. Great job. All right, hey, Andro, give it a try. Give me knees. One more time. Knees. Good. And now knees. Good. Very good. Mahmoud, give it a try. Knees. And knees. Good. I really hear the difference. Emma, try it for me. Give me knees. Good. And knees. Oh yeah. Yeah, Mehmet. Give it a try for me. Give me knees. 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 Very good. Alan, try it. Knees. One more, more vibration, please. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Knees. That's better. And now knees. Knees. Very good. You guys sound great today. All right, we've got a great group. Let's do a quick review of all of these, and then we're going to do an activity with them, okay? So I'm going to give you guys, oh, let's do the review first. First we have, let's put the pen down. Put up that one finger right here. Ah, 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 ball. 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 This one here, itchy nose. Ball. 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 Yeah, and now she. 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 Shield. 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 Good. Pedal. 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 Teeth together. Pedal. 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 Open up for paddle. Paddle. Good. Then we have. What? 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 Oh, what? what? And then what? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Down here. Hey guys, I'm gonna have knees. And knees. Very good. Very good. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys a telephone number, but I'm not gonna tell you the number. I'm only gonna say the words. So if I say she, write down number nine. If I say what, write down number five, okay? Get a piece of paper ready and a pen or pencil. All right. What's that? You can type it into your cell phone too, yeah, you got it. Just be ready to record the number that I give you, okay? Put it onto paper, put it in your phone, whatever. Be ready to write it down. I'm gonna give you guys the phone number of my friend, my friend Sarah. My friend Sarah, uh, she, her mom is from Michigan. Her mom's business does a uh, website and uh, document and information control for car companies. And the name of her company is eTool Developers. And I'm going to give you guys the phone number at eTool Developers in Michigan. Okay? So if you want to call eTool Developers after class today, you're going to have their phone number now. Okay? Free advertisement. You're welcome. Okay. So the phone number of eTool Developers is, let me get over here, make sure we have enough space. Okay. Get ready. I'm going to speak loudly, slowly, and clearly. Okay. The phone number of eTool Developers is <clears throat> Nice. Old. Nice. Bald. What? <laughs> Bold. Paddle. Shield. Shield. Again. Mm -hmm. And what? Okay. So let's go. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to Guilherme. You're you've done this class enough times. You're a veteran student. What is the phone number of eTool Developers, my friend Sarah's mom's company in Michigan, that helps to develop? Uh, information control systems for automotive industry needs. Uh, the phone number at eTool Developers is? 616-451-2335. That is correct. 616-451-2335. That is it. Okay. All right. Now it is your turn. Okay. Someone else needs to give me your phone number from somewhere around the world. Okay. So maybe your phone number from your home country, maybe your phone number when you were a child, if you still remember that, okay? Let's start with, why don't we start with, let's get a volunteer first. First a volunteer, someone who's feeling good about their pronunciation. How you doing? All right, man. You gonna give us your Turkish phone number? If you want, I can do mine, San Diego as well. Yeah, San Diego's a little easy because it's always 619 or 858. Let's go with your Turkish number, okay? Remember, speak loudly, speak slowly, speak 
clearly, okay? <clears throat> this is what? What? Shield. Shield. Ball. Paddle. Paddle. Ball. Ball one more time. Mm -hmm. Knee. Knee. And what? what? Actually, you just me? change the what and knee. Mm, change the order of what and knee. Yeah. Okay, so it's. What? 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 Knees or knees? What about what? Good. Thanks for asking you guys. Good clarification, Tygon. Okay. So who heard it? Who thinks they have Tygon's phone number? Who thinks they heard all the details? Who's feeling good? Maybe. All right. I'm not sure. All right. That's cool. You'll do this. Good job. Thank you for volunteering. What do you think his phone number is in Turkey? Okay. 0533 No. I have three differences from that. Three differences. Okay, let's go to, why don't we go to Katerine. What did you hear, Katerine? I didn't. Didn't catch it? Yeah. Okay, Ariadna, can you tell me what you Neither. heard? You didn't catch it. All right, yeah. Paola, what do you have in your phone? 503-948-21107. I have two differences from that. I just have two things in different order, but I think it's pretty close. Okay, uh, Gozde, what do you have? 503-948-21107. Seven zero. Is that right? Yeah. It's different at the end, right? It's zero seven at the end, right? Yeah, maybe. And zero seven in the beginning and oh five. Oh five in the beginning. Yeah. So everybody was pretty close. So I think we the zero seven was just because of the way you presented yeah, it. Yeah. But let's talk about the zero five pronunciation. This is really important. Zero and five. Because I heard zero zero, but I could hear a little yeah, different. Yeah. I, it sounded like what what. Okay. What? We need one of them to be Oh, what? 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 Give it a try, Tiger. Give it a try. Hit yourself in the stomach. What? It hurts. Do it. If it hurts, it's gonna make it stronger. Come on. What? What? Good. More pressure. Just, just Tiger. Give it a try. What? What? That's better. I like it. Feel the pressure. If you don't care about feeling the pressure, you're always gonna be talking about electricity. Okay. What did you say? Uh, volt? Watt? Kilowatts? No, no, you gotta get that. Oh, okay, the pressure is what's gonna make it different and make it right. Okay, let's get at least one more phone number before we end the, the, the live part of the class today. Let's go to Tygon volunteered. Now it's time for a victim. Who's next? <laughs> let's see. Well, Mehmet, you're well. You you guys are all Turkish speakers. I want to try with a new language. Okay? okay. Thank you for volunteering. All right, Katerine, you got it. Okay. So. Katharine is from Nicaragua, so she's going to have a different accent. It's going to be a new challenge. Okay, remember, speak loudly, speak slowly, speak clearly, please. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, nice. Beetle. What? 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 You know? Good. Okay. So what did you hear? What do you think? Um, five, eight, zero. Four three zero one five eight six. Yeah. That's close. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had two differences from that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I had two differences, and I think yeah, it was a couple that were a little hard to hear, but everything else sounded really good. So thank you, Katarine. Let's talk about where I misunderstood. I misunderstood the fives and the zeros again. Those fives and the zeros are tough, right? 
I just heard a louder and a softer version, but I need pressure or no pressure, okay? This one here, give it a try. Give me ah, 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 what? Yeah, like officer, ah, and sock, ah, 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 and talk, ah, ah, ah. No pressure. What matters here is the pressure. Not how loudly, but how much. Yeah, what do you want? What? Okay, Tatarin, give it a try with the pressure. What? What? Okay, more pressure down here. Not just louder. Louder is great. I love it. But give me the pressure. What? What? That's better. The pressure matters. I love when I see students' heads move. What? What? Because it means the pressure is happening. Okay, what's going on? Okay, what? Okay, let's do it as a class. Let's do the easy one. One, two, three, what? What? And one, two, three, what? What? Gotta feel that pressure. Okay, yeah. All right. Whew. All right, let's do one last review of all of them, then we'll finish the live part of the class. We're going to continue with a group activity after this, okay? Let's get back here. This one here is a a a ball. Ball. And then itchy nose bowl. Ball. Very good. All right, this one single syllable she. she, she, she. she. And then two syllables sheol. Sheol. Yeah. This one here on a bike. Feet together. Pedal. 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 This one here on a boat. Paddle. Pedal. Pedal. Open up for ah. Paddle. Yeah, that one is from here with the two fingers. Ah. Yeah. This I see you doing it. Thank you. Good job. Ah, ah, ah. Thanks. And then this one, I love this one. What? 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 And then this one, ah, 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 what? Yeah. And then this one here, knees. And this one, knees. All right, you guys. Very good work today. So let's do our finishing ceremony. Uh, that we always do in the class. Everybody, please put one hand in front of you like this. Oh, turn your hand like this. Pat yourself. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Does anybody's face hurt yet? Anybody's stomach hurt? My stomach and yeah, face always hurt after pronunciation class. Good exercise. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, let everybody wave to the wave to the world. Okay, everybody, say hi or say. Uh, all right, everybody from all around the world. And on the count of three, we're going to say, bye world. Okay, one, two, three. Bye world. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. We do this every Wednesday at 1.45 p.m. on the Connect English San Diego page. If you'd like more information, you can always check that out on the Connect English San Diego Facebook page or go to connectenglish.edu. They'll tell you what to do if you want to get involved in our programs. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for watching.